Privacy is something we often take for granted until it's gone. In a world where everything we share online can be seen by anyone and everyone, it's more important than ever to think carefully of what we put out there. What's going on? It's your boy, Louis Fischel. You know how we do. Welcome to Bring Shreds, where I'm gonna get you fit one meal at a time. So before we get on today's topic about privacy, this is something not private, what I'm about to eat. So let's see what I got. All right, y'all, first we got three strips of bacon, but this ain't just any bacon. These are called Applegate bacon. So these have like no preservatives, no sugars, no, no hormones, no, uh, no nothing, okay? A little bit more expensive, but totally worth it. And over here, I have 96.4 lean ground beef. I turn them into little burgers. On top of here, I had two pasteurized eggs and I cooked the beef and the eggs in the bacon grease. Oh man, so I think that's gonna taste really good. If you guys know me, I love my fruit. No, fruits are not bad. Natural sugars are not the enemy. The added sugars is, so I'm talking about like cereals, cookies, you know, stuff we're not supposed to eat. So yeah, don't eat those, eat these instead. And for dessert, you guys know me, I like dried fruit. So these are dried figs. And to wash it down, you know me, I love my San Pellegrinos. Sparkly and natural mineral water. Oh yeah, and I poured honey on the bacon and also the ground beef. Guys, game changer, honey on ground beef. And this is something that's also a game changer, honey on bacon. So I know like people put like brown sugar on bacon, don't do all that stuff, put raw honey instead. So guys, I'm super excited for this. First, let's take a bite of the 96.4 lean ground beef. Come on. Mmm. Mmm. So the more and more content I put out there, especially on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, it really got me thinking about like privacy and what we put out there, right? And I think it's something we should all be taking seriously. All right, let's try some of this Applegate bacon. Mmm. What's your honey? Mmm, my God. And I think a common misconception is many of us think our lives are private because we aren't like celebrities or public figures. But the truth is, it doesn't really matter who you are. Once you post something online, it's out there for good. All right, let's get some of this cantaloupe. Fresh fruit, you know. Mm. From what I remember, this one lady was yelling at this uh, bird watcher at the park. I think it was like Central Park. She was like yelling at him or something. And like he filmed the interaction and posted it online. And then people ended up finding her and then she got fired. You guys remember that story? And maybe that's not like the right example because she didn't personally post it online, but the way she behaved in front of the camera, she didn't care that she was being filmed. But at the end of the day, it got back to her, right? And then they found out where she lived, the company she worked for, and she ended up getting let go. So again, guys, that's pretty scary, right? All right, guys, let's try some of this egg cooked in bacon grease. Mmm. Guys, these are pasteurized. I know that's very popular these days. I think I could taste the difference, but also cooked in bacon grease, so I don't know. Regardless, whether it's pasteurized or not, eggs are great. Mm. I know social media has been out for over 20 years now. Like social media became popular when I was in high school, and now it's like this whole big thing, right? And I'm gonna be honest, guys, in my teens, 20s, I don't remember what I said. And I don't know if you guys were very active back in the day, but I'm pretty sure if MySpace was still around and you could log into your old account. You can read some of your comments, some of the stuff you said, and it's like very cringy, right? Like, wow, I can't believe I said that. What an idiot. However, people are getting canceled because of that. And I think that's something so scary about putting yourself out there. All right, man, this bacon's really good. Guys, again, with the honey, come on. Mmm. How can eating healthy taste so good? Guys, I got you. And this is something that's very scary to me. I'm gonna make up a story. It's gonna be very exaggerated, but maybe you can understand where I'm coming from. Let's say 20 years ago, in 2004, I said, yo, cantaloupes are the best. But then for some reason, in 2025, cantaloupes are offensive to some people. And then somebody hacks into my account and then goes read through my old messages. And then they said, yo, Lewis said cantaloupes are the best back in 2004. Let's cancel this guy. And I'm like, hey, hey, hey. I don't remember saying that, right? Because it was like 20 years ago. How do I remember everything I said? I don't know if you guys know where I'm going with this story, but you guys know what I mean? An example is Kevin Hart. He made um, some kind of joke that was offensive, like in 2008, something in 2010. 
and somebody found it and tried to like cancel him. And that's really scary, right? Especially somebody like with his popularity, how famous he is. One thing I respect about him, and he said this straight up, like, I'm not gonna let some random person bully me to getting canceled for all the hard work I did. And I was like, wow, yeah, you're right. Even though that tweet or whatever it was, was offensive, you know, obviously you learn from your mistakes, right? You're not the same person you are 10 years ago, 20 years ago. I guess the point of this video is just be careful, okay? What you put out there. All right, let's wash it down with some San Pellegrino's sparkling water. I love this stuff. I usually drink a lot of diet sodas, but as you get older, even though it's zero calories, all that fake sugar, it can't be good for you. Oh yeah, drink this stuff instead. So my advice is if you do have a social media and you are very worried about what you posted in the past, I would make everything private. And even for me, because I'm doing YouTube, I try to keep in mind in the back of my head what I'm willing to share and what I'm not. And I'll be honest, guys, I'm very open. I have nothing to hide, really. But you never know. There are some crazy people out there that might look up where you live. I'll give you a quick story. But first, let's try some of these figs. Yo, these figs are really good. Check these out. They look kind of weird, but they're really good. You guys remember Fig Newtons? Oh, yeah. Mmm. Guys, it's like candy. I call this nature's candy. Mm. So real quick, there's this guy named Ben Dean. He's this Korean Asian, Korean Asian, Korean American uh, mukbanger, mukbanger, mukbang YouTuber. I think he's from like Chicago. He was adopted and he moved to Seoul and now he does videos out there. Anyways, he made this video, but he took it down. So I don't want to tell the whole story because I, I don't know why he took it down. But the gist of it, basically, he used to live in this apartment in Seoul, Korea. And I guess in one of his videos, he had his main door in the background and whoever recognized that door, so they knew where he lived. So one day he was done doing like a live stream with his fans or whatever. And then as he was leaving, he tried to open a door and like somebody was behind there and they like shoved him in. I don't remember what weapon they had. I don't think South Korea allows guns. So I think it was like a knife or something like that. But basically that person held him up, wanted all his information, his social security, his address, I don't know what else. And Ben was like, why are you doing this? Like, what's the point? I guess he wanted to take Ben's identity and move to America and start a new life, something like that. I don't know. The point of the story is, it's very scary what he shared online at the time. So if you watch these videos now, it's just like a blank uh, gray wallpaper in the back. So you can't really tell like where he's located. And he doesn't do live streams no more, which is unfortunate because he can't really connect with his fans. But again, after something traumatizing like that, it's really scary, right? So when I watched that video, I was like, oh dang, I should be very thoughtful about everything I share from where I live, what I'm near, even on Instagram, right? Sometimes I post where I'm at, you know, the geotag, let's say me and my boys or girls, we're getting Korean barbecue, right? And as we're eating, you know, I'm gonna post a, a story and then put the location. And I guess for now, it's not too bad because I don't really have that many followers, but I think eventually, like once we make it big, right guys? I gotta start being more mindful of the locations I post. Either don't add the location or wait until I'm done eating leaving and then post it and i'm already gone by then you know what i'm saying all right let's get some more of this 96 4 lean ground beef and i cooked it in bacon grease oh yeah mm. what's the honey that reminds me of another story about location i don't listen to a lot of rap especially like new rappers these days but this one that passed away he was always paranoid right about where he lives what information he shares However, his girlfriend at the time, I think they went to uh, Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles, I think in SoCal in LA. And he's very paranoid, he's very cautious, so he doesn't post any of that stuff. But of course the ladies, you guys always wanna post the nice things where you're at, this and that. So it wasn't even the rapper's fault, but his girlfriend posted their location. Hey, we're at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. And then some people found out and then came in, shot him up in the restaurant, took his jewelry, his watches, whatever he had on him. And that's so scary, right? Because like, it wasn't even his fault. Like he's super paranoid. He's super cautious about what he posts. But then his girlfriend ratted him out. How crazy is that, guys? Pasteurize eight, come on. Mmm. Guys, the yolk is poured on top of the beef. Oh man, this is gonna be really good. I'm gonna eat both of it. Actually, should I do all three? Kind of like a burger without the bun? Oh yeah, that's a great idea. 
So yeah, be careful, especially the people you're around. Tell them to also be careful. Again, I know these two stories are the real extremes with Ben has like a million subscribers, I think two now, but it only takes one person, right? To go crazy and like try to kill you or take your information. And then the other guy, I think his name is Pop Smoke. I think that was his name. The girl that he warned not to post anything, rat him out and it cost him his life. Like I said, these are two huge examples and I'm pretty sure it's not gonna happen to you, but there's always that possibility, you guys know? So again, be careful. All right, let's do this. The bacon with the egg with the beef. Let's use my hands. Check it out, come on. Mmm, wow. Right, it's basically a burger without the bun and then you get the sweetness with the honey. Guys, like I always say, eating healthy doesn't have to be boring. Mm. So even though those two stories are like the extreme, like I keep saying, it really got me thinking about what I should and shouldn't post online. Like I mentioned in my last video, I wanna start vlogging again, right? One of these days, when I have more time and YouTube pays us. But a fitness influencer I've been following for the longest time, Max Tuning, made a recent video too about privacy because he shares everything in his life, where he lives and things like that. So he gets like random people showing up to his house, knocking on his door, waiting outside for a picture. He said he wants to be a cool guy, right? He doesn't want nobody to like not like him. But what's the line? What's the boundary, right? Like, don't show up to people's houses. I don't know who needs to hear that, you know? So again, guys, my solution, whatever you don't want to share, make it private. Your MySpace, your Facebook, your Twitter. Like all my personal profiles are all private. The only thing that's open is like, of course, bring the shreds because you know how we do. I don't share where I live no more, like the city. I just put the Bay Area because it's very broad, it's very general. And yeah, just like I said, just be very cautious of the things you post, what you want to share, things like that. Mm. And I totally get it, right? Sometimes we want people to see our success online. Like, hey, I just bought this new uh, Rolex or um, I just bought a new, what's expensive? New LV bag. I think those are very expensive. Sometimes I think it's just human nature that we wanna overshare sometimes, right? But in my opinion, sometimes oversharing can really cause harm and danger. Because like I said, it only takes one person to go crazy or they're jealous of what you have and they want what you have and they might find out where you live or see you on the street somewhere knowing what you post and try to rob you, try to kill you. And man, it's a crazy world out there, all right? I have one friend, I'm not gonna say who, you guys don't even know who this person is, but they're very successful. I wouldn't say rich, but they're well off, right? And he says like, yo, I don't post any of that stuff. All I post is like my family, just so people know what's going on in my life, but I don't post like, just an example, if he was to buy like a new boat, he doesn't have one. He wouldn't share that online. And I was thinking like, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And even though I don't have anything like worth anything right now, one day when we do make it, cause I'm manifesting it, I don't think I'm gonna share anything expensive. First off, I don't really have the desire to buy anything expensive. Like some of my friends have like Rolexes and I'm like, how much did that cost? Like you buy a new car for that. Not a new car, but like a pretty good used one, right? So I don't think I'm ever gonna own anything like super expensive or lavishing. But if I were, I would definitely not share it on social media or anything like that. So yeah, don't overshare, keep your stuff private, you know, friends and family only. Some of the things you post, you might think is harmless, but you never know, right? And there's also something called like digital hygiene, where basically it's just, you know how you brush your teeth every day? I hope you do. Sometimes it's good to go back to old posts and delete the old ones. Update your privacy settings. And I think the reason why we overshare is because us as humans, we crave attention and connection, which is why we share so much online, right? But guys, just remember, not all attention is good intention. So before you guys hit that post button, really think about if you want something out there forever. Cause sometimes when it's out there, even if you delete it, like somebody might have already recorded it or taken a picture of it, like screenshot it, you guys know? Mm. And yeah guys, protect your privacy and don't feel pressure to share anything you don't want to.